all righty uh, today's video is going to be very interesting because we're probably going to be using one of the very few heroes that suck in save the world actually i feel like red willow gets a bad rap yes we're going to be talking about red willow today um red willow is actually not that bad i don't know why people i mean like i haven't used her at all i think maybe like once back in the day when she first came out however going through her perks again um i don't know it, it, it's interesting because I don't think like i feel like she can be good but at the same time i don't know if she will be i mean i have to use her but uh red willow's uh quest line is out it comes out during uh frost night or uh, i guess the event of frost night so yeah she's out right now if you want to grab her this three pages long she's on the very last one which actually is kind of funny because i feel like she's like one of the very few quest lines that actually end on this like the last one usually it's like the second to last for some reason but yeah she's on the third page final one uh grab her i mean she's not that great but at the same time it's a free hero and doing it just over time is not that hard you could do it in regular missions too so that's actually uh kind of nice otherwise yeah red willow so what she exactly does uh, her commander perk at the end of phase shift it triggers an explosion dealing 20 base energy damage in a 0.75 tile radius which is usually it's 0.25 usually but um with her it's 0.75 which is kind of nice so like it's almost an entire tile uh and the face shift has a 60 percent chance to conjure a phantasm which it targets a nearby enemy dealing 62 base energy damage in a 0.5 tile radius and it has a 1.5 second cooldown now i feel like she'd be really good if it didn't have the phantasm cooldown on it phantasms just aren't that great because of the cooldown and just overall it's just like the chances of it actually spawning are like like zero to none i mean it says 60 percent, so like you have a little bit more than half a chance of getting one but even then you have a 1.5 second cooldown so if you kill multiple enemies in a group then you still have that cooldown lock which doesn't really make any sense so i don't know it's like mm, but it also does 62 base damage and it does a 0.5 tail uh, point or half a tile radius so it kind of makes up for the fact but at the same time phantasms aren't really that great however her phase shift the explosion uh 20 base energy damage is actually not bad because 20 it's energy damage mind you so energy damage has a little bit more effect whenever it comes to elemental husk and then on top of that 20 base damage is actually not that bad i mean like um like 20 base damage like i mean it could be better but i mean in lead not that bad uh and then of course we're going to be running happy holidays we want that decreased ability cooldowns because it's phase shift we got blades of glory i think i might run this with an smg or pistol i just feel as if like this kind of would make sense to run it with that uh we got phased out which decreases the phase shift cooldown by 25 percent so we have a little little bit more time to uh phase shift we got space technology which increases our ability energy damage so since we're phase shifting and it causes uh energy damage i'm hoping that it makes up for the fact that we're doing energy damage so hopefully azalea clock has some 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 help uh in the phase in confused i actually have to un i had to unslaughter because she increases phase shift maximum charges by one uh by one so instead of three dashes we get four and then phase siphon uh dashing through enemy players with phase shift it heals me uh or 12 base health per enemy pass uh per uh, per enemy pass through so if i dash through five enemies that's 60 base health which is actually not that bad and then if i eliminate them like i i kind of get some health back so i don't know uh it should be interesting otherwise that's a loadout that we're going to be running i don't think red willow is going to be like that crazy good in 160s but i don't know my expectations are low um i actually just ran a monk's build so if you guys want to check out that video definitely do um because it actually kind of impressed me i was kind of having a lot of fun i don't know if red willow will have that effect but let's jump into the mission and uh see what uh she can do all righty we're in the mission i got a little bit of enemies right here i just want to test it out real quick so i'm going to try to dash through all of them okay not that great not what is that why is the phantasms going right there what the yeah this is not that great honestly i'm not gonna lie i don't know what i was thinking i mean when phantasms spawn it's not that bad however like at the same time like i don't know like i'm gonna try to eliminate the the enemies that can shoot me i i don't know i don't know how i feel about this because the phantasm so the way i see it is whenever the phantasm spawn i actually am doing a little bit of damage but with red willow and lead like it actually doesn't do a lot like i don't know you would think that 20 base energy damage would be a little bit better however i just don't think it is now i also do want to mention i feel like instead of space, uh, space technology i yeah, appreciate the follow will um instead of space uh, space technology i feel like i should have ran fuel for the fallen so like eliminations give me energy back but i think i might just get the energy pylon and use that instead because i don't feel like backing out because this loadout's just supposed to be like goofy anyway so like you know making it serious and like making it perfect isn't something that i'm gonna do because in at, at some point like you know like i'm not gonna run this loadout probably ever again 
Unless if I want to perfect it, which I'm not trying to do that right now. Uh, otherwise, yeah, let me get the energy pylon, jump in the actual defense and see how it does. All righty. So the defense has started. Now, I don't know if this loadout's going to be any good or not. I put some defenders down just in case because I don't think dashing is something that like is common whenever it comes to 160s. And, like, as you can see, it doesn't really do anything, but I do have to increase damage whenever it comes to uh, uh, phase shifting, right? So I feel like maybe if I just kind of dash and shoot at the same time, I don't know maybe oh gosh there's actually it, it's weird because part of me wants to perfect using this uh red willow but at the same time using red willow isn't something that like i will do in the future more than likely i just wanted to see if i could do with anything with her but in reality like like the dashing like it's not a lot of damage i'm not gonna lie i thought it would have been a little bit more but it's not that much so i'm gonna throw some turrets down here see you there like you can see like even when i multiple dash like it doesn't do that much I guess maybe because i mean on mid sponsors it's not going to do much because it is energy damage however like i don't know man i don't know how i should feel it's like i'm not doing bad at amounts of damage but i'm also not doing great i think it's because i went from monks to this loadout and i don't phase shift a lot so maybe like phase shifting is just like not it for me i don't know i really don't know i don't know how i should feel about this loadout i mean like I feel like I could make the loadout good, but at the same time, Red Willow isn't something that I can make good. She's just a bad hero in reality. So I don't know. Just like, look how much damage. And then fa fa Phantasms don't even spawn 100% of the time. So like, it's only a little bit of damage when it does spawn. And then whenever I do kill an enemy, Healing Death Burst kicks in and I don't even kill the enemy uh, or have any more damage dealt to the enemies because they've already gotten the health back from killing that one enemy. So yeah kind of unfortunate really but i mean the lightning pistol is really good i'll tell you that against water enemies like i can clear those enemies out so i don't know i feel like maybe me thinking uh so, like i think the reason why i want to perfect a loadout is because i know that it maybe could be good but yet again i don't think red willow could be good i, I think maybe i'm just like taking the weapon i'm using and thinking about like the support heroes and then like trying to fill in where red willow doesn't work you know what i mean so like if i took red willow out and ran beetle Jess, this would be a decently good loadout uh minus space technology because i mean that doesn't really do anything um but yeah i don't know i don't know i don't think red willow's that good <laughs> i actually uh was really hoping i could like you know maybe like find something that would work but i don't think this is gonna work um I think this is one of those like times where like I truly may have accepted defeat whenever it comes to make any fun loadout because Red Willow just isn't like strong. Like, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm like trying to think of what else I could do with Red Willow, but it's not a lot. It's nothing really crazy. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to wait until the mini boss spawns and then uh, we'll take it from there. Alrighty, the mini boss has spawned. It's a tank damage pulse frenzy and I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything against it. Wait. Is that the discharger or me? I think that's the discharger. Yeah, that's definitely not me. I'm taking a lot of damage though. Oh. Yeah, I think that's definitely the discharger. I don't think I'm doing anything. Yeah, that's not, that was definitely the discharger. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything. I can have my team kill, kill the rest of it. But yeah, kind of unfortunate really. Uh, I think Red Willow is actually a really bad hero. I think this might be the first time where I'd admit... Um, usually I, I kind of like, I don't lie. I usually been the truth, you know, been the truth. Um, but I really thought I could make this, uh, Red Willow pretty good. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything that you could do to make her good. Now to make her good. I, uh, like once again, I think phantasms are just like a fill in a uh, perk. They just like give heroes that they don't want to finish phantasms. That's why some heroes just have this for some reason. And then the face shift trigger explosion. I feel like 20 based energy damage. Isn't that good uh especially when you have to uh like whenever you dash the explosion is like i think on you so like if you look so whenever i dash it's on me but it should be behind me it should leave like a trail of an explosion um rather than like it's on me so because i have to like dash into the enemies in order to do damage so like i'm over here i gotta dash into it to actually do damage which is really weird i don't think that's good they shouldn't do it where it's like behind you rather than like on you um, otherwise, yeah, there's nothing really else to change about her. Maybe just increase the amount of damage that you do and instead of 20, maybe like 40 because most, he most heroes are like that. Now, I think the reason why it's so low is because you can phase shift multiple times, but at the end of the day, t like 60 in total, 
if you're not running uh the extra dash 60 base damage isn't that good uh that's like a little bit more than half their health if you hit the same enemy so yeah i don't know definitely hero that you could just get her and put in the collection book that's pretty much what you should do with her so um otherwise that's pretty much it i'm not going to keep anyone here longer if you made it to the end remember subscribe down below i'm going to win this mission real quick uh otherwise remember as always like the video subscribe i'd appreciate it and also have a great morning e or afternoon evening wherever you are and i will catch you guys in the next one